Hey, what's going on everyone? Happy Monday. We're gonna take a tour of this Hideout 318BR. This is a 2022 model um, and it actually comes out weighing, let's see if I can pull up my notes, 7,688 pounds with a overall length of 35 feet 11 inches. Uh, it's overall great camper. There's just something for everyone in it and is loaded with features. So starting with the outside, you have your power tongue jack. All you have to do is just press a button and it does everything for you, so it's very user-friendly. Couple propane tanks are just behind there. Of course, a spot for your battery. Nice aluminum front cap and siding. At the base of your front cap, you have uh, some diamond plating to just help protect it from gravel, road debris, sticks, and it just helps preserve it longer. And then you also have the industry's best three-year limited structural warranty with Keystone. You are prepped for Fury on side marker cameras, so all you have to do is just purchase the camera part, uh, pop it in there, and you can view the sides of your camper while you're taking it down the road or even just lining it up in your campsite spot. Just next to that is some pass-through storage, so always a great spot for additional camping gear that you might not have room for inside your coach. Front and rear power stabilizing jacks. Two entrances into the coach, and they are protected underneath this powered awning, uh, so that can be really nice. And there's a lot of outdoor living space to take advantage of with that huge power awning. It also has a white LED light strip, so it looks pretty cool at night. Bluetooth capable outside speakers. Your main entrance has these solid steps and then just next to that is a leash holder slash bottle opener and it even has a paw print on it and kind of like a dog bone so I thought that was adorable access to your water heater fresh water connection the exit point to your furnace power that is also protected underneath your awning so you can have a tv set up out here if you want or be able to charge your uh, phone of course your second entrance and all the way at the back, we have our massive outside kitchen with the updated colors. It looks great. It's nice and bright and clean looking. Uh, so starting to the left, or I guess my right, working our way towards the left. You have a couple burners underneath here, but you can tuck it away in this drawer. Countertop space. I like this design on it. I think it looks pretty cool. Power, so you can have a coffee maker out here or an air fryer if you want. Cabinet storage, which is pretty huge. A light so you can see what you're doing even if it's uh, pretty dark outside. A sink, massive mini fridge for your, I guess it's pretty cold, for your uh, juice boxes or snacks or adult beverages. And then all the way at the back, you have your spare tire and you are pre-wired for a uh, backup camera if you want one. Two slide outs on your non-camping side. And I think that covers that, so let's take a look at the inside. I would like to point out too, since this is a Keystone 2022 uh, model, this does have the solar panels on it. So all of the 2022 Keystone products have those uh, solar panels. So that is definitely a plus. Uh, coming in through the master bedroom and working our way towards the back. This is located at the front of the camper to the right of the main entrance. Queen size mattress with storage underneath. You actually have two entrances with barn style sliding doors for extra privacy, but uh, you don't have to like sprawl yourself on the bed to get into it. You have two ways to get in on either side. So there's plenty of room. Windows on both sides as well. And then you also have closet lockers on each side with mirror panels on them. So you can use that to get ready in the morning as well as a uh, open shelf for some decorations or additional storage. Then there is your closet locker, built-in clothes rack. End tables on both sides of the bed. The one on the right actually doubles as a laundry chute, so you can throw all of your dirty clothes down there and not even have to think about it. Power outlets as well, so you can plug your electronics in and charge them while you are sleeping. Spot for a TV is located against that wall. And then right across from your entrance next to your uh, main entrance into the camper is your control paneling for your slide outs, your awnings interior lights pretty much everything on the opposite wall of your bedroom begins our entertainment center i love that this really looks like a uh, just an additional built-in cabinet piece it's just for some extra storage but it also kind of looks like a uh, fireplace mantle too storage down below for your board games and dvds and then your furion bluetooth speaker system uh, so that's where you can pair up your phone to the bluetooth and play some music outside or control the volume and everything beside your remote through there uh, through the tv of course a spot for your tv 
And then diagonal from there is your sleeper sofa. So these armrests are, yeah, I guess they are armrests. They are removable, so you can fold it into that sleeping space. But they have built-in cup holders in there, which is pretty cool. Large windows in the slide-out for a lot of natural light. And then to the left, this also converts into a sleeping space. Um, but it's really cozy uh, when it's in the booth position. You can have four people sitting there for dinner or fun uh, board game night. The sale price comes out to be $32,999 for everything. Love the contrasting colors. You have the darker uh, furniture pieces and that accent wall with all of the white cabinets and just some storage space. I think it all looks great. Coming into our kitchen, you have your cabinet, glass on the outside of your cabinets too, and they all have these uh, kind of like night lights or accent lights on the inside, so you don't really have to open it up. You can kind of see what's in there when the light is turned on. Just below, you have your accent wall with kind of like a mimic subway style tile for your backsplash. It looks really pretty. Window, power outlet, 60-40-ish split sink storage down below with more power outlets and you actually have this feature that is in every single hideout this is a road vac so it comes with about a 30 foot nozzle and you can sweep up every square inch of this camper so it's one less thing that you have to uh, remember to bring you already have a vacuum built into your camper which is pretty cool and then coming back into our kitchen space three burner stove top and then there's your oven range hood microwave stainless steel refrigerator it's a really good size and then coming back here i'll open this for some more light Let's see if i can do this with my left hand there we go you actually have a second entrance into your full uh, bathroom which is pretty nice a lot of people tend to look that look for that in a camper just because if you have kids running around they need to use the restroom they're all gross and dirty they can just come in through the outside entrance and not have to track that all into your camper same thing with guests if your camper is pretty dirty and they need to use the restroom at your campsite they can just come in through there so to my left we have our shower tub combo uh, it's pretty spacious too. There's lots of room to turn around in. Vent fan up above. Across from your interior entrance is your sink. Storage below. Power. And then you have your porcelain foot flush toilet with this really adorable built-in shelving in there for maybe some washcloths or plants or anything you want really. Across from your bathroom is just some extra storage so you can use this for bathroom storage or some extra space for your kids and then coming in here we have our amazing bunk room so starting to my right we have our first bunk it can latch up so you can sit on this uh, really neat kind of like padded area without hitting your head so you can put that away if you would like uh, but this is rated for 300 pounds so a full-size adult is able to sleep up there too if your friends are wanting to come camp and then down below this is like really neat um, I don't even know what you call it you can unfold it and create a bigger mattress space but this is pretty much just a spot to lounge or just have someone else sleep there those cushions move so you can use it as backrest as armrest there's built-in cup holders in them um, and you have a nice window too for a view and then coming towards the back, we have another lofted bunk area on this wooden platform. And there's actually some storage underneath there. So all of your kids' toys can go under there and you don't have to see it. It's not all on the floor and everything. Another window and power outlets everywhere. Then we have our last bunk on this other wooden platform. Of course, there's a spot for a TV. More storage. I don't know what you could put here, but I mean, at least you have it. And more closet storage to the left of that and close rack but there you have it any sort of questions or concerns feel free to let us know thanks